Hey guys, this is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. I'm heading up to Blake's tonight. We planned an archery hunt to Ohio during uh, late season next weekend. We're gonna sit down tonight and kind of look on some maps and figure out some areas that we wanna scout for next weekend and actually make a plan of how we wanna set up our hunt. Uh, when we went to Ohio in November, we camped. Not now, we're gonna get a hotel so we stay warm next weekend and uh, we look forward to seeing you when we get out there. Ready, brother? Starting something new. <laughs> What's happening, brother? How are Sorry, you? Man. When did you start thinking about coming to Ohio for this hunt? Right around Thanksgiving. Maybe a touch after Thanksgiving. You first thought about coming out yeah, this time? Yeah, I would say. Because when gun season started and I didn't have my bow anymore, it was just kind of like I was in a depression. Because I just love bow hunting. You know? Right. Basically made my mind up that, yeah, I'm going out. And then I was like... I at least got to call Kurt, man. I remember calling you and said, hey man, I'm just putting a bug in your ear. And you're like, all right, I'll think about it. We texted a little bit back and forth and then it was on from there, man. I think it, like the biggest thing was too is that I conveyed to you as well. Like it's also going to be like a good scouting yeah. you know, mission for, for, for next year as well. And My focus on scouting for next year is so narrowed now compared to what it was last year my first year last year it was just getting to see what public land was out there right and it took a long time last year just to find some areas that i wanted to key on so what did the guy say to you when he said you know here's your tags that are left this is what you do. yeah so i did a lot of research online and it was it was like it was up in the air like some articles i was reading was saying that you could use your either sex and some weren't. So that's why I called the Ohio DNR and talked to a guy who was great. Right. And he said that 2019 and previous years, you couldn't use your uh, either sex tag um, after gun, but they just switched that in like 2020 to where you could use your either sex tag, archery tag, all the way until the end of archery season, February gotcha. 6th. So he said, we're a hundred percent okay with taking a doe or a buck. Or a buck. So what's your plan, man? Oh, my plan is to wind's blowing northeast. So go down here on the edge of public and private and get down as far as I can. And then there's a looks like a, a clear cut that was done within five years ago. And I'm gonna see if there's any deer trails that go in and out of that and then uh the whole time, if I find a like, good sign, I might, I might hunker down and stay. If not, I plan on following the south edge and then work my way back up and uh, and just look for sign and then hopefully be able to get something on the way, get, get close to something and get a shot on one. But um, we'll see what happens. Sounds good, man. And Looking then, you know, to... just send me a text. Yeah. Um, I'll send you a text once I get done with my yeah, first do speed that. scout just to tell you what I found or didn't find. And, right. And, and then we'll I'll... keep in touch as the day goes on. And if you find something with a lot of potential uh, down in that corner, let me know. And yeah. if I don't find something decent down there, I'll come back up here, okay. you know, 1 o'clock, 1.30, and I'll find a place to set up a stand or a blind here for tonight, tomorrow morning. Right. That does sound good. Here we Brother. go. This is a new, new, I know. new, new experience. New, it is, man. If we're going to be good. Yeah. Take I'm care of business. Right. I'll yeah. send you a text. Let you know what I find out. All right. And, uh, oh, yeah. Tight. Hopefully. Let's put a deer down. Yeah, so that'd be freaking out. See you. All right, man. Love you, man. Seat up because of my short leg. <laughs> I, I figured you would have to. Okay, man. Come All on, right. buddy. Yeah, you look good in that truck. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. All right, man. My thunder's still my baby. Yeah, I know. I know. You, 
You'll feel the power of this bad boy. <laughs> okay, All right, man. Yep. So after doing some scouting in the truck this morning and doing some glassing and seeing some of the agricultural fields around the areas of public land we're going to hunt, dropped Blake off so that he could do a stalk. And I'm going to do a quick speed scout on an area just over a mile and uh, then come back out of there and I've got another place I want to hit that's about two and a half or three miles just to kind of get a general idea of this property uh, before we hunt tonight and over the next couple of days. deer trails that are kind of in a pinch point here. We've got the river and swamp over on one side of me right here. We've got this little spit only about 30 yards wide of all these mature oaks with trails coming right in between the swamp along through these mature oaks and in between all this thick red osier dogwood that we have over here. I think a great spot in the fall to look at possibly putting a stand because I think you're going to have a funnel that comes right through here. Catch deer walking along the edge of the swamp, possibly coming in and out of uh, this thick stuff. Well, I found a place that I think has got a ton of potential for the fall. It's uh, got a field, cornfield, about 150 yards that way. Got this little creek that comes down through here with all this real thick stuff. It's got another cornfield about 60 or 70 yards up that way. And then it's this little creek valley that's tucked down in between these two small ridges. I have a strange feeling that I'm not the only one that thinks this is a great spot. I definitely think it's worth coming back in early October and taking a look at it. Well, I found plenty of trails. I found a couple old scrapes, a couple old rubs. Leaves are turned over where the turkeys have been in here trying to get acorns like crazy. But in this first spot, even though I think it's got great potential for the fall, I saw no fresh sign to hunt this evening. I'm going to go back to the truck, grab some water, something to eat. I'm going to head up to the other spot that I wanted to take a look at, and now we'll see what we're going to do from there. Took a hike at one spot, found some places that look like they have a lot of potential for next fall, but no fresh sign. So I ate some lunch, got some water, uh, popped over to another spot. It's got a little bit more of a field and woods on the public property. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, walk in now. I've got my sticks and stand with me. I'm gonna find uh, a place that looks like it's got some potential and uh, get up in a tree and sit down for the night. into my trip. I went to cross the creek and realized I had dropped an arrow. So I just did a big loop coming back to the point where I think I had last seen it and I didn't get back on my own trail for 10 yards. And there she be.
crazy as it seems. 15 degrees. Blake and I didn't find a lot of sign yesterday. So this morning we're in a situation in which we're doing some slow stalks on the same property. He dropped me off. I'm going to work towards the vehicle. He's going to work away from the vehicle. When I get to the vehicle, I'll grab the vehicle and then come and pick him up on the opposite side of the property. Just trying to find some sign today and again, trying to do as much scouting as we can for next fall. Absolutely beautiful morning out here today. Chilly. You got tons of hand warmers, but gonna make the most of the day. As quiet as I'm trying to be, it is super crunchy with snow last night and 15 degree temperature. Sounds like there's some duck hunters out there somewhere blasting away. Dude, I'm telling you, I put a blind uh -huh. just for quick in and out. Right there. That's just a little segue for them to come from the swamp to go through that CRP. And there's a, a decent thick hedgerow full of Dozier dog uh -huh. that goes all the way over to private. Oh, got me falling on my ass. What's up, buddy? How are you? Oh, I'm all right. It was good until the last 250 yards. There's no way to get out. Oh, really? It's so it, thick? Oh, my God. Look at my... Look, I got all tore up. Those are your base layers, dude. Yeah, well, I had them off because the last... Oh, you were When warm, I warm texted you, up. I went all the way back down to that corner because yeah. I was trying to find a place to set up a stand. And then from there, I just packed everything up and said I'm walking out. Yeah. So I stripped all the way down. Oh, and, that, and I was fine until this last 250 yards, and then I just got eaten up that sucks. you know the green briar just tore me up yeah had it run in. Blake and I sat down uh, this morning and slept in just a little bit and didn't have a place to sit so we took a couple of stalks on the same property and both found some places that have some potential so we sat down had some lunch and both of us are getting ready to go out and sit down right now and uh, then go down stand in sticks and sit till dark and uh, hopefully catch some doe that are moving out of some bedding areas into feeding. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to a spot that I have set up and hope someone walks by me. There we go. Okay, brother. <laughs> All righty. Good luck, man. Let's yes. put a dough on the ground, right? Something, I don't care. Brown's down. <laughs> I like it. Blake and I last day in Ohio. It's a whopping nine degrees out this morning, southeast wind. Last morning to sit out. We had planned on hunting this afternoon, but there's a huge snowstorm coming in, and uh, we definitely want to get home uh, before that hits, considering it's all lake effect snow we got to drive past. So this is it, last morning. We've got a lot of intel for scouting for next fall. Uh, I've seen eight doe. Uh, Blake got to see two buck yesterday, one decent buck. So we're gonna hope this morning that one of the two of us can put a buck down. That way we've got some meat in the cooler to head home.
run around. He just about took out the lab mic. <laughs> In some places that are a little bit more uh, overlooked and uh, I've got my dog with me so dog's got his flea and tick collar on and then uh, I and I made sure to cover him neck and ears and head I knew he was going to tear that mic out, and of course he did right there, but that's all right. 